you are one amongst the millions of people that God wants to surprise. You are one amongst the millions of people that God wants to do a surprising thing to their life and through their life, my God. You see, the word of God in Matthew 12, verse 23 says, And all the people were surprised and said, Is not this the son of David? They were surprised. Today, I want you to know that every single one who did not believe something great would ever happen to you would be surprised. Yes, they had given up on you. They had written you off, but they would be surprised what God would do. They would be astonished. They would all be amazed in the mighty name of Jesus. They never knew something great could ever come out of Nazareth, but God brought Jesus out. And when they saw him, they were surprised. You see, something happened so greatly in the life of Joseph. The brothers did him evil. They never thought anything great would ever happen to him. God has shown him great visions. God has shown him something he wants to do with him that would be so amazing. And those who hated him wanted to destroy it. But God showed up and made sure everything he did was to see that it was accomplished was to see that it came to pass and they were surprised. They were astonished. The scriptures recorded that every single one of them were amazed when he revealed that it was Joseph. I want you to know that you are one of those people that God will use to do a surprising thing. Tell the people around you that God is going to surprise them. God is still going to amaze them. Yes, you may have given up on it. You may have thought nothing would ever happen to you again that would be amazing, that would be noteworthy. But you should know today that something great, something amazing, something beautiful would happen and everyone around you will be surprised. You would be amazed. You would be astonished for what God said he would do. And every day of your life, every single day of your life, You will not forget the surprising thing that God did to you and through you in the mighty name of Jesus. The people who gathered and saw the miracle that God did through Peter, they were surprised. They were full of wonders. Dear child of God, you should know that God will surprise you. Daniel 8 verse 3, the word of God says, Then I turned my head to look and to my surprise, my God. You will see an amazing thing, a surprising thing that God will do for you. You may have thought that you cannot get it anymore, but God will surprise you. You may have thought that you have lost it, but God will surprise you. Yes, you may think that at this point in time, you just cannot have it working for you. I want you to know that God will surprise you. When God looked at Sarah, she was surprised because she never even thought that she could still get that thing that God said she would get. And it was surprising to all when she brought forth Isaac. Dear child of God, I want you to know that God will do a surprising thing to you and through you in the mighty name of Jesus. Through Peter, through the servant of God, God did a surprising thing and did an amazing thing that the people were filled with surprises. In Acts chapter 3 verse 10, the scripture says, And they were full of wonder and surprise at what had taken place. The people would be amazed. They would be surprised. They said, you cannot achieve it. They said, you cannot do it. God will surprise them because God is giving you a supernatural strength. God is giving you a supernatural ability and you would amaze your world. You will shock your world. The ideas that God is bringing to you The amount of recognition it would receive, dear child of God, it would amaze you because God wants to do a surprising thing for you. The people around you would wonder, they would wonder, seeing that God have decided to use you to make a statement of greatness. They were surprised when they saw Jesus. Jesus did some things that were amazing and oftentimes the scriptures would record that they were surprised because they did not see it coming. They couldn't have imagined it that it would happen. 
I want you to know that very soon, your friends will be surprised. Yes, those people around you who had thought they knew you, who had thought that you cannot go beyond where you are, they would be surprised. Even your haters, even your enemies, even your mockers, they'll be surprised. They'll be astonished. They would be amazed seeing the thing that God did to you and through you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus opened his mouth and spoke, they were amazed. They were greatly surprised. The word of God in Matthew 13 verse 54 says, And he gave them teaching in their synagogue, so that they were greatly surprised and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these works of power? Dear child of God, people will be wondering, Where are you getting it from? They would be wondering, they would be surprised because they did not see it coming. And God would make them to know that is the God that brings astonishment, is the God that brings surprises, is the God of wonders. He will bring wonderful things to you. Remember, is the God that surprises his people at his own will, and he will do a wonderful thing for you that would cause the people around you to be surprised. God wants you to know today that that thing will still happen to you and they would be surprised. Yes, they had written you off, but God would tell them, I will still do it because I'm God. And everyone would be amazed, they would be astonished. Because at the time that Sarah brought forth, they said she was well stricken in age. It was beyond the time she had reached menopause, but God stood out for her and brought a surprising thing through her and did something amazing. Do not give up your dear child of God. God can still do it. Have you been believing God for years? Believe that God will do it and he would most certainly do it. Is there someone you are believing God for who do not even think it would ever happen? Let them know. Remind them with this word that God will still surprise them. God is never too late. He's never too late to show up. They may think it is late. Yes, Sarah thought it was late. She laughed when God told her she would bring forth but when God did it, everyone were amazed. Everyone were astonished. Everyone were surprised. Dear child of God, a surprising thing is coming to your life. A surprising thing is coming to your family. A surprising thing from the Lord is going to visit you. And you would be amazed. You would be shocked the way God will do it. God will bring a shocker to your mockers. God will bring a shocker to everyone that said you cannot make it. God will bring a shocker to everyone who had written you off. And they would say, indeed, God is the God of wonders. He will do a wonderful thing for you. So be in expectation. Believe it because it will happen. And it would happen most soonest in the mighty name of Jesus. With your eyes, you will see the wonders of God. Daniel turned in Daniel chapter 10 verse 5. He lifted up his eyes and looked, and then he saw to his surprise. He saw something amazing. You will see something amazing. You will see how God will skyrocket your business. You will see how God will uplift you. You will see how God will change your story. You will see how God will settle you. You will see how God will settle your marriage. You will see how God will restore your home, and you will be surprised. Dear child of God, it will be the least thing you are expecting. So if you believe God for a surprise, if you believe that God still does surprising things, why don't you take this word to heart and pray and say, God, just surprise me. Just shock me with your wonders. Do something amazing that will cause everyone around to know that you are still the God that is living. You are still the God that is alive. You are still the God that said you will be with me. You are still the God that said you will do amazing things in and through my life. You are still the God that wants to take the glory from my life. I trust you. I count on you. And I know that you will surprise me. Is there someone that you are believing that God will do something surprising to them? Then let them get this word right now. Let them believe that God will still surprise them. Encourage them with this word that it will happen. It will still show up. It will come to pass. And they would be amazed. They would be greatly amazed because God is still the God of surprises. God is still the God that shows up. And also your enemies will know. 
Yes, they would know. Oh yes, your enemies will know their child of God. They will know that God still does surprising things. The scriptures in 2 Chronicles 20 verse 22 says, And at the first note of song and praise, the Lord sent a surprise attack against the children of Ammon and Moab and the people of Mount Seir who had come against Judah and they were overcome. My God, your enemies will be surprised. They will be surprised the way God will stand out for you and show up on your behalf and turn them away from you. Dear child of God, it brought a surprise attack against the enemies of God's people. So do not worry. God will still surprise your enemies. Yes, they have laughed at you, they mocked you, but they should expect it. God will surprise them. Yes, they thought they had the powers. They thought they had the fame. They thought they had the riches. They thought they had the sources to suppress you. But today, God will surprise them. Tell that friend of yours, that do not worry. God will surprise those who have been mocking us. Tell that spouse of yours that God will surprise them. Tell your family, tell your children that God will still do a surprising thing for us. So let's believe it. Let's hold on to God. Let's trust the God of wonders. Let's trust the God who knows how to do surprising thing. And he will do a surprising thing for you. And you would be amazed for the wonders that God have done. God will do that thing that will cause you to be amazed. So believe it. Send this word forth. Let more than enough people listen to it. If you can believe it, then it will happen. If you can believe it, then it will come to pass. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.